girls at home i hope you are well i hope you had a week that was great and that you enjoyed it and i hope school was also good welcome to my bible my treasure i'm auntie lisa with you and here we share the word of god in the most fun and exciting way with a lot of games and music too so right now i'm going to get into our story for the day but before we get into our story guys welcome how are you? We are fine, Auntie Lisa. How are you fine? So how was school? Just fine. Just fine. fine. Are you writing the exams? Yes. yes. Mm, are you passing? Yes. yes. Are they difficult? No. no. They're not? They're not? Nine Some of them. Yours are difficult? I Some got them nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I but got, that's good. I got ten out of twenty. Yeah, well, clap hands for yourself. Clap hands for yourself. Okay, so now we're going to get into our story. And today I want to share with you the story of the ten bridesmaids. So who's ready for the story? We are Auntie Lisa. All right, so let's get into the story. So once upon a time, a very, very long time ago, there were 10 bridesmaids and they were waiting eagerly for the bridegroom to come. So they were all invited to be part of a grand wedding celebration. Does anyone know what the word bridesmaid means? What is a bridesmaid? Yes. A bridesmaid, like it's a, it's a team of. Can, we can't hear you. It's, a, it's like a team of mm. women, but it, of it's women. like women or girls. Women or girls, uh -huh. like and then, like when they are going to get to one bride, one groom. Okay, so it's like uh, anyone who wants to try again. Yes, Skyla. A bridesmaid is a friend, a friend's bride. Yeah, it's a friend or is a friend of the bride. Yes, Mambo. A, a, a bridesmaid is a, a. I think it is a. Uh -huh. It is a friend or relative of the of the bride mm -hmm. of the of the bride. Mm -hmm. Yes, clap hands for yourselves. You guys have an idea. So basically, a bridesmaid is a close friend or a relative of the bride, and they help in preparation for the wedding. I've been in like several, many. <laughs> I've been a bridesmaid, like I don't know how many times I've got like a lot of uh, bridesmaid dresses, dresses. But anyway, eh, that is not the point for today. So anyway, uh, in the story, so five, like I said, there were 10 bridesmaids. bridesmaids. So five were foolish and five were what? Were wise. Does anyone know what foolish and wise mean? Yes. Foolish means that, that mm. it, I mean, why it means that you you are mm. smart. You're smart, right? Yes. Exactly. Yes, Sherry. Foolish means that you know you know nothing. You know nothing. Like you know nothing. You are fully you age. Okay, clap hands for them. Okay, Skyla, you want to say something? Mm. Foolish means like you're stubborn when a person tells you something and then mm. you're wrong about it. Mm -hmm. Clap hands for yourself, yes, kid. Uh, Mm. Smart means means you're very, very, very super smart and mm. you know things. You're intelligent, right? Okay, so let's get back to our story. So, when the ten bridesmaids took their lamps, they went out to meet the bridegroom, right? So, five, the five of them that were wise, they took extra oil for their lamps. But the ones that were foolish, they just went and they didn't think that they needed what the oil for the celebration. So the bridesmaids all went and then they waited for the bridegroom. But because the bridegroom took long to come, they all fell asleep. And then during midnight, are you listening, you guys? Because I'm going to be asking you questions. Yes. Are you yes. listening? What was I saying? Yes, ma'am. You were saying that the, the, the five wise ones mm. took extra oil mm -hmm. from their limbs mm -hmm. and the foolish ones 
do not even do not even care of the of the oil. Yes, clap hands for him. Clap hands for him. All right. So, like I said, because the bridegroom took long to come, they waited and waited, but then they all fell asleep. And then at midnight, a cry went out, and it said, "Here is the bridegroom. Come out and meet him." Come out and meet him. And everyone woke up. So when the bridesmaids uh, woke up, the five, um, the other five wise uh, bridesmaids, they woke up. And then because uh, their lamps had also run out of their oil, they took the extra oil they had, and then they lit up again their lamps. But because the foolish ones didn't buy any extra oil, so when the bridegroom came, there was a shout at midnight saying, the bridegroom is here, come out and meet him. Because uh, the oil had run out of their lamps, but because the wise bridesmaids had bought extra oil, they decided to what? To knit again their lamps. But because the foolish ones, they didn't buy any extra oil, they asked the five wise uh, bridesmaids to say, can we have some oil? And then the five uh, wise bridesmaids said, but we can't give you because it might run out. So you might as well go and buy what the oil at the stores or at the market. So the five bridesmaids went and went out to meet with the bridegroom and they were celebrated and they were welcomed into the celebration for the wedding. But then because the full, the five foolish bridesmaids had went to, had gone to buy the oil, when they came for the celebration, they found the door closed. And then they were like, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I'm pretty sure like I'm a piano was like playing in the mix and they could just hear jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. They were like, we are awake out. No, 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 no. And then when the door was opened to them, they were like, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But the bridegroom replied, truly, truly, I do not know you. And the door was shut in front of their faces and then they couldn't join the celebration. Yes, Skyla. Auntie Lisa, yeah? what happened to mm. the foolish bridesmaids? So the foolish bridesmaids, unfortunately, they couldn't enter. When the door was closed, that was it for them because they were late and they were not wise enough to buy the oil lamp. So guys, that is our story is key. Mm. Uh, mm. Were the wise ones allowed we can't see you. in? Were the wise ones allowed into the celebration? Yes, they were allowed because they were the first people to come to meet the bridegroom. So that was our story, boys and girls. So anyone wants to tell us what did they learn from the story? Huh, I see you guys are very eager. So let's find out what you've learned after the break. So right now we're just gonna take a quick break, go grab some water, some juice, some fruits, and then see you very soon. Boys and girls, you're watching my Bible, my treasure. Here we learn a lot from the Bibles with so much fun, exciting games. And today's story is the story of the 10 bridesmaids. So what have we learned from the story? Yes. I learned that you must not be jealous. I learned that you must not be foolish. Yes, you must not be foolish. We need to be wise. So, yes. I learned that you should, you should, you should, you should, you should, you should prepare everything on time. Yes, clap hands for Mambo, clap hands for Mambo. That's a very good observation, yes. I learned that you, you have to, you, you, you must, you must take something for, for extra instead of mm -hmm. Yes, like you have to be really prepared, right? Clap hands for her, clap hands for her. All right, so now we're going, boys and girls at home, go grab your pencil, your paper, because we want to draw a lamp. So guys, are you ready? We are Auntie Lisa. Great, so we've got two minutes, two minutes. So right now, on your mark, set, go. You need to draw, yes. I don't, my color's not out. So I'll just grab something else. Can you give him this one? Yes, you can use this one, yeah. All right, yeah, you can use that one. Okay, let's go, we've got two minutes. 
Uh, we have to draw a lamp, an oil lamp. I don't know if you guys know it, or a candle if you must, but an oil lamp. Have anyone seen an oil lamp before? No. No. no? So what are you I've drawing? I've only seen a light Just a lamp. lamp. Like a light lamp. That's what I'm drawing. Okay, let's see just what like you guys... Just like I'm mm -hmm. just drawing like the lamp, then I'll just put a little mm. bit of oil. A little bit of oil. Yes. Okay. So just like that. Like I don't that even know. I don't know. You draw yours. Okay. And then we'll see. <laughs> uh, so boys and girls at home, you can also draw your lamp as well. And then you can send it on our social media pages. And then we can show it to your friends here on My Bible, My Treasure. We are drawing the lamp that was used by the 10 bridesmaids to go for the wedding celebration. Oh, I'm dead. You're, you're dead? Why are you dead? Uh, you're not losing. This competition. You're not losing. Don't, you're oh. not gonna, there's no loser here. We're I'm all winners. Can I please have black? We're all winners. You want black? Okay, here's the black. Okay, uh, it will give you the black. Does anyone have orange and yellow? I have orange. Thank you so yellow. much. Um, can I have yellow? Mm -hmm. Can I have yellow? So, how many yellow. seconds do we have? 30 seconds left. Oh, oh my God. 29, 28. I'm already 27, done. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 18, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, I'm done already. 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. Time is up. All right, let's see our lamps. Wow, this is gonna be fascinating. Keith, can we see yours? Okay, show it to the boys and girls at home. Yes. So what kind of a lamp, where is the oil there? Is, that, is it like a modern lamp? I don't know where to put the oil. You don't know where, to, this one is an electric one? Yes. Okay, well, thank you very much, Keith. Okay, Mambo, let's see yours. Okay, that looks like an arrow. What is that? Mm. It's a lamp. It's a lamp. Where is the oil here? I didn't know where to put the oil. You didn't know it. So you're one of the foolish bridesmaids, eh? No. <laughs> Skyla, let's see yours. All right, so... This, this is the lamp. Yeah. And this is the oil. <laughs> wow. Very smart there. I saw what you did. Sky, um, Shari? Mm -hmm. This is... Lamp. Yeah. This is the lamp and <laughs> oil. Yeah. The oil. And then the uh, one of the foolish girls will say that young we are pair. Young. I love it, my Jerry. I'm the young pair. And this is this is my lamp. This is my lamp. This is the oil, and then this is the little thing that takes the oil to the. Yes, thank you very much. So, yeah, so boys and girls at home, I hope Ashery won the kids. The young pair. So, these were the drawings that we had of the lamps that were used by the uh, 10 bridesmaids. So, now we're going to get into a little song that I want to teach you. So, I don't know if you know the song, but you know, Taraichi, you know, the song goes like this. Yes. Okay, so that's the song. That's basically the song, and this is how we're doing it. It's like on your laps, you clap, and then 10. When we're doing the five on your lap, you clap, and it's five. Right? Yes. Simple, right? Yes. So let's do the song. Boys and girls at home, you can also join us for the song. So one, two, three, go by la povaskana by me. By la povaskana by me. 
I hope you enjoyed yourselves. This is really amazing, and I hope that you have learned something from the story of the five foolish bridesmaids, bridesmaids and the five wise bridesmaids. So right now we're going to take a small, small break. Go grab whatever makes you happy with it. Candy, chocolate, uh, juice or fruits and do join us after the break. Welcome back, welcome back, boys and girls. You're still watching My Bible, My Treasure, where we study the Word of God in the most fun and exciting way right here on LR TV. And if you're just tuning in, if you're just joined us, if just watching this segment, you missed out on two segments, and we were sharing the story of the 10 bridesmaids. Now, guys, are you ready for some questions? Yes, yes Auntie Lisa. Okay, cool. So I need to know if you were listening or not. And also you two boys and girls at home, you can also answer the questions, right? At home where you are. So our first question is, can you tell me how many bridesmaids were in the story? How many bridesmaids were in the story? Shari. There were 10 bridesmaids. In yes. The Clap hands for her. Clap hands for her. All right. So the next question is, uh why were they called wise and foolish bridesmaids why were they called wise and foolish bridesmaids mambo they were called wise and foolish bridesmaids because the foolish ones did not bring an mm -hmm. e extra extra oil they did not think that their oil would run out mm -hmm. and the and the wise ones brought extra oil because they thought that their oil might run out. Yes, clap hands for Mambo, clap hands for Mambo. Yes, that's what you do. If you're someone who's really wise, you know how to plan your things correctly, like what the wise bridesmaids did. They collected, they bought extra oil just in case if the oil that they had would run out. But the foolish ones, they didn't. They thought, you know what, the oil that we have will just keep us afloat. But unfortunately, it ran out because what? The bridegroom delayed. So the next question is, what time did the shout come that the bridegroom had arrived? What time, Keith, are you listening, you guys? What time did the bridegroom come? What was the time when the bridegroom came? What was the time when the men shouted, the bridegroom is here, come out? No one, no one was listening. No one. Keith. Uh, midnight. Yes, clap hands for him. The bridegroom came at midnight. The, the bridesmaids had been waiting and waiting and waiting, but because the bridegroom delayed, they fell asleep. But then the bridegroom still came at midnight, right? And then the next question is, what happened when the bridegroom delayed? I just said this just now. What happened when the bridegroom delayed? They Sarah. fell asleep. Yes, they fell asleep. Clap, clap hands for her. Clap hands for her. The bridesmaids fell asleep because the bridegroom, the groom had delayed. All right, then for our last question, what did the bridegroom say to the foolish bridesmaids when they came knocking at the door? Hmm. Boys and girls at home, I wonder who can help us. <sighs> wow! 
Hi, Angel. Hi, everyone. I heard there's a question which needs answering. And Lisa, what is the question? Yes. So the question that is troubling us is what did the bridegroom say to the five foolish bridesmaids? Oh, I see. Uh, the bridegroom said, uh, truly I say to you, I do not know you. Wow. Thank you very much, Angel. Guys, let's say thank you to Angel. Thank you, Angel. You're welcome, friends. Uh, isn't Angel amazing? Yes. yes. Yes, she always helps us with the difficult questions. Thank you so much, Angel. So, the bridegroom said, Surely, truly, truly, I do not know you. And the door was shut, slammed right in front of their faces. So, anyone wants to tell me what they've learned from the story? Yes, Mabu. I learned that, I learned that you, sh you should, you should, you should be, you should be, you should be what you should be. You should be prepared. Prepared, prepared yes. Prepared for any for, for any activity you want to do. Yes, that is very true. Yes, Skylar. I learned that you should always be wise. Mm -hmm, that we should always be wise in everything that we do. Yes, Keith. Uh, I learned that we should always that we should always bring oil in case we need to much mm -hmm. more. Yes. That is very true. So it's just the same as preparation. Whatever that we need to do, we need to make sure that we prepare. We need, like right now, we're writing our exams. How do we prepare? Yes, Mambo. Reading. Yes, that is very true. Sherry? I learned that to always be in time. Yes, that's true. What? To be in time. Yes. The bridegroom was like late. So, bridegroom. Don't no, be late. Not the yeah? <laughs> like the foolish. Like the five foolish bridesmaids, right? <laughs> Instead of going to meet uh, the bridegroom for the celebration, they went and bought the oil and then they missed the celebration. But thank you, thank you so much, boys and girls. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you. But unfortunately, we have to go. And I hope you have learned something. And right now, we're just going to say goodbye by singing our song for the day. Let's sing for them. Bye, love,